Hey guys, thanks for joining us again, Pastor Randy and Pastor Mark, as we come just to share with you some thoughts from God's Word, uh, to encourage us today to know that God's got it and everything's going to be all right. Uh, you know, we're facing some difficult days uh, in our lives, and uh, we're, we're, one thing that we're facing right now is this, this big word called pandemic. Uh, most of us have, have ne probably never even heard of the word, or at least we've never faced it in our life. And uh, Pastor Mark, I, I want you, if you will, talk to us a little bit about this pandemic. Okay. Uh, because like I said, for most of us, we've never, we've never been a part of something right. like this before. So yeah. what's the word tell us and what, what can you share with us from that? Thank you, Pastor Randy. It's a great question. Uh, obviously, the, when the word came out from the WHO, the World Health Organization, it said it's a pandemic, which means it's worldwide uh, as opposed to an epidemic, which is kind of local. And the word pandemic is an interesting word because we, get, we also have a word pandemonium, which is full wildness, and the word panic. And, of course, that's what people are doing right now. They're panicking. And that comes from the god Pan. Uh, he's depicted as a goat head and, and a upper torso of a goat and the body of a man. Again, Scripture has something to say about everything, I think. Yes, yes. Uh, when Jesus, and I'll set the stage for you, when, when Jesus was ministering to his disciples, he was, going, uh, he was telling them and hinting to them that they were, he was going to go to Jerusalem to die. Right. Of course, they were taking it all different ways. So he brought them to the furthest, most northern part in Israel. You've been there with me. Right. Uh, Caesarea Philippus. It's also known as Panius, named after the god Pan. Uh, it's interesting that Jesus took them there because... There were three temples there, and one of them is over a, a grotto that has, if you remember it, it was like a, it was like an opening, and there was water that came out of it. Well, there was a temple there, a temple to Pan. Pan, the god Pan, it means, um, it means god of the wild, wild imaginations, wild things, and we can see that. So Jesus takes them there because they're in a panic. They are in a panic, and it's amazing to me. He doesn't tell us why he takes them there. It's a pagan temple. Right. But he takes them there, and li listen to the exchange. It's pretty amazing. It's in uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. It says, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked the disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they're questioning it at right. this point because they're panicking. They, don't, they know if he's going to die and he's supposed to be the Son of God, you know, that doesn't really equate for them. It says, and they said, some say thou art John the Baptist, others Elias, and others uh, Jonah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but whom you say, who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed art thou, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed this unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And then the next thing he says is very apropos for us. He says, and I say unto thee also, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Well, that grotto was called the gates of hell in Jesus' day. So hell brought this wild panic out of it. And Jesus taking, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an illustrated sermon. He's saying the gates of hell, he's pointing at it. The gates of hell will not prevail against whatever you, want, whatever you bind on earth. That's powerful for us. Yes, it is. It tells us that, you know, and then, of course, uh, Peter comes out and says, you are the Christ. So he makes that decision. And that's what we have to do in a time of panic. You have to stare the gates of hell right in the face. And you got to say, this wildness, I get chills thinking about it. This wildness, this, this pandemonium that's going on with this panic, I'm not going to let it touch me. I understand it's a tribulation. I understand there's some problems with it. But I'm not going to let it come near my dwelling. I'm not going to let it get into my mind. I'm going to let Christ's assurance to me get into my mind. Wow. Uh, that that is so powerful because we have seen the panic. That's right. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing to me uh, the empty shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all, all, everybody trying to stock up That's because right. they don't know they don't know what's going to happen. Yep. Uh, what's going to happen next? That's right. Uh, fear, mm -hmm. all of those kind of things, and that that's such a powerful word for us today mm -hmm. uh, to know that uh, uh, you know the Lord knew we were going to face these times. That's right. He knew we was going to face face right. them, and, and uh, the the word of the Lord, you know, tells us that the, the angels of the Lord encamp around about those that fear right. Him and delivereth them. That's right. Uh, you know, so God has got us, and we've just got to trust Him. Do you remember when you were a little boy and you had fear? Oh yeah. And you would run to your dad, and your dad would calm you down. Right. It's a scripture verse: Perfect love casts out all fear. Oh yeah. So today is the best time to run to Christ. Wow. And, and that's what we need to do today, church. Let me tell you, we need to make sure that we are running to Christ. Uh, we don't have to just run to the grocery store right. or to Walmart. 
uh, we need to run to Christ because he will give us peace. That's right. He'll let us know he's, he's got you. Uh, he's going to take care of us through, through this Amen. difficult time. And uh, I'm excited today <laughs> to, to be able to sit and talk with you and to have our uh, folks watching us today because it is a powerful time to be alive. It is. It's a great time and a great opportunity right. for us to share the word of the Lord. And, and we want to encourage all of our people, don't focus on the negative. Don't focus Amen. on the pandemic. Don't don't focus on the coronavirus. Focus on the one that says, I've got you. That's right. I'm going to take care of Amen. you. I'm there with you. And uh, uh, I just get excited thinking about these kind of things, <laughs> Pastor Mark, because it is, Absolutely. even though I've, it bothers me not to of be course. able to have our church family sure. together because I'm a people person. Absolutely. Everybody knows me, knows yep. how I am. Uh, but but it is a time that we can actually stand upon God's word. Amen. Know that he has got us covered. Nothing. Right. I, I know I've already said this in other segments, but nothing's caught him off guard. Nope. This is not a surprise to him. He is going to walk us through this and we're going to see the salvation of the Amen. Lord and victories Amen. is going to take place. I've had some begin to start to talk about the uh, how the church is never going to recover from this. Mm. Let me tell you, the church is more alive today than it's ever been. There's more ministry taking place right now because people are hurting. Right. Uh, I heard a testimony just this morning of a guy that told a friend of his, man, as soon as this is over, I want to come back to church. Oh. And and I'm excited. You're about right. That. We just said it. The gates of hell will not prevail will not against prevail. <laughs> panic will not prevail against the church. Amen. And let me tell you, panic's not going to prevail against you. I want to Amen. pray with you right now. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to remove that fear. Join with me and let's you, pray Lord. together. Heavenly Father, right now, I just you, join Jesus. with these that are watching us Thank today. You, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that that fear that has tried to come Thank against you, Lord them, God. that worry will be placed you, away from them, dear Father. Lord, Thank we you, don't Lord. have to worry about what's going to happen in this world because we know Thank who you, holds this world yes, in the Lord palm God. of his hand. Thank Lord, you, you have given us that assurance today. Yes, Lord so today, God. dear Lord, over every individual, every person that is watching yes, us, Lord God. I pray for peace in their life. I pray Thank that the you, joy God. of the Lord will just... Uh, come Thank greater you, than it has been. I pray, God, that the mercies of God will Thank continue you, to last upon them yes, and let God. them be witnesses of you, dear Father, and Amen. of your soon return. Thank you, Everything is all right because we know who's in charge. Thank Father, you, we give you praise. We trust you and we love you in Jesus', you, Jesus. name. God bless you. We love Amen. you. Amen.